Hi friends, today we will talk about Alteryx. Alteryx is one of the tool in market which is good for automation of reports as well as good for creating pipeline which can be regularly refreshed through gallery. So gallery is a, is a place where you can schedule your workflows once it is created. So today we will talk about some of the tools which are frequently used in Alteryx. So first of all, this is how it looks when you open Alteryx and this is the canvas area where you will drag your tools and do the data transformation. Now in Alteryx, every single step needs a tool and those tools are clubbed here very nicely like some of them are in and out so in and out as name suggests these tools are needed when when you want to bring some data in Alteryx or export some data from Alteryx and then there is other way to bring data in Alteryx and export is in database so we will talk about this 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 particular set of tools when we talk about how to bring data in Alteryx but first like basic tools <clears throat> For example, first of all, you need input data and you need to provide connection details like from where you want to load this data. And then once it is loaded, it's very easy to just bring your browse tool and run it and see what kind of data has been loaded here. Similarly, once you have your data loaded, you might want to do some data transformation. And those data transformations steps are here for example let's say you have 10 different attributes in your data you want to subset those and select just few of them you drag select tool from here to the data transformation go back to in out use output data give that path of the file and the format of the file run workflow from here and it will do the data transformation, write that file, either Excel, CSV, QED, Tableau file, whatever format of file you want to export, it will export that file. So for in a essence, this is basically a pipeline where you can bring a lot of different data transformation tools. For example, this is one of the tools select tool. Similarly, other tool which we frequently use is formula. Let's say you want to add some new fields, you can do that. And the good part is you can always change the data type. Then another one of the frequently used tool is filter. So you can provide the filter condition and based on true or false, you can pull that data. You would observe one thing that as soon as we drag an object here, it automatically starts making connections. So that's one of the good part here. Now this tool which I dragged, that, that tool is basically to sort data. And the name also mentions same thing. Now let's say you just want to load unique records. You do that and you provide what are your unique records here. Now these are set of tools which are present for data preparation. Now one of the very basic thing you do with, with your data transformation is joins. So those joins are pr provided here. So there is one way to do single join like from two different data sources and then other is multi join so join multiple is where you can <clears throat> bring multiple data sources and join those and then do the output from here another one of the good practice is that just copy uh, just select all your objects do right click and out add or all, all of them into a container it it keeps your workflow clean and easier for other people to understand another thing which we can do is provide comments so we will talk about all these things once we go more in detail around any workflow but first just give you the high level uh, overview of the objects which are present here another one is parse so parse is basically to delimit your data using different objects those are present here then is transform now transform is again one very useful uh, set of objects for example cross tab running total summarize transpo transpose and every object has its own properties to use now coming to in database now in database is, is is a set of tools which will run inside your database now for example you have oracle as your database if you do 
uh, data stream in what it will do is it will uh, help you write this data into Oracle so you can give your connection name you can give your uh, table details and it, whatever data transformation you have done you can just write that in Oracle similarly if you want to read something from the table you can use connect in DB and then provide your data connection details and you can bring that data inside your workflow we will go more in detail around these objects but but all of these are objects which will run with database connection and those are not compatible with other alteryx objects until and unless you use data stream in and data stream out now another key feature here is reporting so reporting is basically to to create a report out of whatever you have done here <clears throat> for example you have done data transformation now you have to create a report uh, in a table structure or uh, and then once that report is created you want to send this as an attachment to broader group of people through email so that feature is there and then similarly you can create your layout you can create your email body and all that moving next is your documentation so documentation is just to give more uh, comments and keep your uh, workflow clean spatial is basically to load your spatial data and then do spatial joins and intercepts those kind of objects are present here <clears throat> interfaces is like if you are using creating macros here and you want to uh, or, or you want to give uh, you know more uh, user friendly tools to user when they are using it these are those tools for example action checkbox condition so those those are basically for example drop down you can give few options and then when user open this workflow user will have to select something in the drop down and then they can run it so as soon as you bring any any of these interface you will see this uh, run as analytic app we'll talk about that later but just to give you some idea around interfaces then comes data in investigation so that's like uh, to do some data profiling <clears throat> and then it's predictive so in predictive you will find very uh, few objects because that's still getting evo evolved in all tricks then comes the prescriptive and then connectors so there are different connectors which are present here you can use any of that um, address uh, this is for example if you want to do geocoding of the address data you can use these then comes your demographic analysis <clears throat> behavioral analysis developer so there are some good objects in developer as well so one of that is like this python which is very handy when you are doing some of the automation activities on your reports moving ahead then there are some um, some lab features so some of the beta features which are released by alteryx here so and then next is sdk uh, how to do sdk um, development and then next is your connect so so these are all the objects which are present in default alteryx installation now easier way to do is like because there are multiple objects and grouped in different categories and when you are doing your workflow you might uh, just waste your time going from one category to another so better way to do is just right here for example select you will get the option just drag drop and do your work that's that's like easiest way to create your workflow once it is created you can always save this as uh, as uh, alteryx file and then uh, again you can always bring it into alteryx and run it or you can schedule it through gallery We'll talk about that in our next video. Till then, thank you and keep learning.